Right then, here we go. We've got a cup of coffee. We're ready to go. We're all sitting in Gatwick, ready to go. Say hello. Hello. Uh, that's Bruce. Hi. Stefan. Hello. Sensei Steve. Of course, yeah. And Stuart. Hello. Uh, hello. Doing photos for everybody else as well. Um, come on in, one word, sum it up. How'd you feel? Apprehensive. Ah, oh, come on, more positive. Sweaty. Yeah, it's bloody hot actually, isn't it? Excited. Excited, that's more like it. There we go. Here we go. Say goodbye. <laughs> well, here we go. Whoa, the first taste of sunshine and oh bloody hell it's hot. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely warm. Just a quick blue stop, we're um, almost on our way to the first boomerang. But uh, all the boys have jumped off the bus to uh, have a quick look around and to find a little bit of uh, undergrowth. As you can see. There is not very much undergrowth around here at all. And they, if you can see them over there, are monster sets of dunes, which I suspect is where our first bivouac is, and that is day one over that lot. But anyway, oh, just got off the bus. Mad dash for tent number 111. Say hello to home for the next seven days. There she is, 111. Which way around does that go? God knows, that way around. There we go. Anyway, we have arrived. This is our uh, back garden. Look at that lot. Look at those. Hello, sir. Bonjour. Ça va? There we go, look. Monsters. Ink. Tents. Tents, more tents. Stefan unpacking himself in the tent. As we walk inside here, look, have a quick uh, introduction to how it works inside the tent. That is our sleeping mat there, look. Stefan's grabbed his spot already in the middle there, just to keep warm at night, you know. No messing around. There's the man with the bag. There's my Sherpa's just arrived. Say hello. Hello. Mr. Stuart. Hello. There we go. There we go like and my bag, look, delivered to the door. What a nice guy. So, well, sun setting. Night number one. It's uh, what day is it? Friday. There's uh, three layers of tents. Lots of bags have arrived. It's a beautiful evening. It's a lovely temperature. I don't think it's going to be quite like this in the middle of the day, but uh, it's absolutely fantastic. So a quick walk through. Oh, I can't believe I'm actually here. Two years of waiting. And I am treading on Moroccan sand. But uh, it's just awesome. Absolutely awesome place. Middle of absolutely nowhere. There is nothing, as far as the eye can see, in any direction that resembles anything like civilization. Absolutely perfect. And if those are the dunes we're over tomorrow, then. Uh, I think we're going to get introduced to desert running rather abruptly. Uh, right, well, it's Friday night. Um, we've just had something to eat. Uh, we've been very lucky to be fed this evening, which is uh, unusual. That's the restaurant e tent thingy. And um, we've just been sitting down, meeting a few people. There's, we've got electric light, for, which is uh, unusual. Otherwise, it's uh, headlamps only, as you can see from those guys there. So uh, this place is going to be off limits from... Uh, Sunday. Everybody meet Rachel if I do that. Ah, there we go. Hi, nice hello, say hello. Now, <laughs> tell, me, tell us all about yourself. Come on then. Well, I'm Rachel. I've just arrived. I've not even had a chance to get my sleeping bag out yet. Uh, and you were rejected I'm the moment I've you been arrived. Rejected. <laughs> 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 now I have a spotlight. I mean, I just don't know what to say. Yeah, and now you're sleeping in the middle of eight <laughs> men. <laughs> it could be worse. It could be worse. It could be worse. Oh. Well, it's been like a never-ending journey. Oh, good evening. Good evening. 
Hello. Oh, Andy, hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm lovely, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> say hello, say hello. I can't see oh, you, hello, hello. Hey. How are you doing? Hi. Good to see you. Hey. Oh, you've had a Hi. hell of a day, haven't you? In fact, you've got to say hello in here oh somewhere. Oh, let me get rid of that. <laughs> Thanks for putting up the sign, and then I knew yeah. it was Steve. Hey. Hello. How are you? All right, Hi. thank you. <laughs> oh. Just don't put me on film. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have. We yeah, we have. We've got a roomie. We've got a roomie. Oh, we got a, this is Rachel. Token female. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Julia. Oh, nice Rachel. Hi, you too. You. How are you doing? All right. Welcome. <laughs> Well, She's not actually as bad as we said she was, but uh, <laughs> yeah. we, we painted a picture. She was, she was a bit frightened. Well, good morning. Um, it's uh, Saturday. It's about half past five in the morning. Um, everybody's had a really bad night's sleep. Mostly thanks to the fact that Stuart snores. <laughs> but um, everybody's had lots of fun. And... Um, uh, we're just waiting for the sun to come up. Oh dear. But um, I've slept um, at least a couple of hours anyway. <laughs> but um, I think the sun's going to poke its head around the corner um, any minute. Well, it's still Saturday morning. It's now about uh, half past six in the morning. The tent has uh, got up. We're just sorting through our suitcases to... Uh, move all of the stuff that we want to keep for the week out of the suitcases and into our backpacks and then uh, the suitcases have to go get handed in and then we're off self-sufficient for the uh, entire week. Uh, well we've just had some breakfast, we've just walked back and the camels have come to join us. Are you going to say hello Mr Camel? Where are you? There you go. There he is. Oh. Oh, These are the two guys that need to walk behind us. And um, so if we're running and we see this camel, we're in dead trouble because they um, are our timekeepers. If the camels overtake you, you are out. Uh, we're in the middle of absolutely nowhere, but somehow this fella has just turned up to try and sell me some fossils. Um, which is a bit strange, but um, bear in mind if I just show you kind of panorama. Um, there is absolutely nothing around here, but somehow the organs of a rock uh, seem to materialise from nowhere. But um, look at this, look at these false fossils. Soap dish. Oh, it's just what you need. Yeah, that'll be really handy. Oh, look, and a pot too, look. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say thank you very much, but um, I think we're okay. But thank you. My pleasure. Uh, yeah. uh, well, it's Saturday afternoon. Uh, it's kitchen time. So, as you can see from behind me, hopefully, there is a whopping great queue of everybody having to queue up, waiting to get their kit checked. And yes, it does go all the way back down there. So, everybody's standing outside in the hot sun for at least an hour. But uh, that tent there is where it all happens. So hopefully, in the not too distant future, we'll be in the shade. That's all our suitcases uh, that we are not going to see for the next seven days. And the packs on everybody's backs is everything that we need to take care of us. Well, the good news is we've got ourselves a number. Oh, you can see what it is. There we go, 716 and 811. We are... Rocking and rolling. Those dunes over there I'll call it. are going to be breakfast tomorrow morning in the dunes, apparently. Let's have it. Yes. What was it, Bruce? What time is it? 3.10, the MDS 10. Jules is about to go for a kitchen. Exactly. Love it. The rest of us have all been, and Jules, bless her soul, is the only one left. Oh. Oh, it's fine. Sensei Steve over there, number 547. Stuart there, and he kind of chilling. Cast Where is he? There we go. That's the one. And Rachel here. Hi. Hello. This is, this is the new member that we permitted into our tent last night. Rejected. Yeah. Like <laughs> We're initially like rejected. Say, yeah, and then. Like say, still rejected. Exactly. Okay. Good morning. 
well it's uh, what day is it? Sunday today. It's our first day of running. We're about to set off to for today. But it is what is it? 5.46 in the morning. Um, the camp is well and truly up. The procession of people heading for the loo has been pretty strong for the last half hour or so. And we're having our first breakfast, our first running breakfast. So, Stuart, tell me what you got. Mm. Mid mouthful. Well, I'm pleased you asked that, Rob. <laughs> because I'm enjoying a delicious extreme energy breakfast muesli. Well done. Thank you. Yes. And Rachel, what would you be enjoying this morning? I to make first breakfast porridge. Hey. Hey. Julia is still um, cocoon like in her sleeping bag and showing no signs whatsoever of eating her breakfast. Uh, Bruce has been up all night because he only sleeps two hours a day. Um, and he's having, he's I'm cooking up. Oh, look at that, he's actually cooking like his breakfast. Okay, okay, well, we're going for, we're cutting up the bottles. This is getting very technical this morning. And Steve, sir, what will you be enjoying? Oats with sultanas. Well, there we go. Call on blow breakfast for everybody. Actually, where is Steph? Is he still asleep? <laughs> He's completely out of it still. Steph, we have got a run today. You know that, don't you? Yeah, okay. Right, it's race day. Everybody's getting ready. The um, tents have disappeared. So we've all been uh, evicted from our homes. The 20, it's about 21 miles, I think it is today, but we do indeed have those nasty looking dunes to get through. So we've got 3k run down to the dunes, 15k through the dunes, and then uh, we've got little uh, three jebels to get over, so three little mountains to get over, um, and then the final checkpoint. So it's going to be a fun day. We're certainly going to get introduced to desert running with uh, no compromise whatsoever. Alright, we're at the start line, we're almost about to go. Last words, everybody. Bruce, yeah, we're going to go, we're going to do this. Here we go. One minute to go. Done. I'm just coming into checkpoint one on day one. A measly 15 kilometers done and dusted. Taking me about oh about two hours 20 minutes, which is <laughs> inconceivable for a 15k run, but here we are nonetheless. Over there you can probably see hopefully. Here's the checkpoint. So we're going to make this last turn. Oh, the dunes, as you'll see over there, with a few camels potentially. And it's just the last couple of metres to cross the timer mat. Listen to the beep, please. Ah, there we go. So hopefully, you're all now tracking me at home. Well, the, uh, I'm getting, oh, to the end of uh, 
tell you one. I've got about uh, 4k to go. And, uh, we've uh, had some fairly flat, loose on the surface for a good few k's. Plus, we've been over the top of uh, a few gebbles. I was thinking we were, I was almost there, uh, but then I turned the corner and saw that, so it ain't over till it's over, that's for sure, today. Rug on the floor. Good morning. It's uh, day two, stage two. It's about uh, just before seven in the morning. The sun is well and truly up, and uh, this is the carnage that uh, meets us this morning. Berbers are taking down the tents. Everybody's doing their breakfast and the final admin and uh, picking up their water from the truck in the centre there. If you can see that, you might see the screen. So we've got uh, 42k, sorry, no, 41k to get through today. So just shy of a marathon. It's about um, it's about 25, 25 and a half miles. Um, Hopefully not as challenging as yesterday. Yesterday's dunes were just unreal, um, especially the last set. There was only 4K in that last set, but uh, that was hard work. Um, but lots of fun and everybody's in good spirits. Had quite a few people drop out. I think um, quite a few dehydrated people and uh, heat uh, stroke people yesterday. So uh, we're all very pleased that we've got a full tent and uh, everybody's kind of very chirpy. and. Um, Raring to go for another day. Let's see what today brings us. Right, we're on the start line for day two. Um, Jules has headed off to the front. She's a bit of a speed demon. And Rachel is just at the back. Yeah, she's quite happy there. So, Bruce, my man, how would you feel this morning? That's not it. Yeah. Let's do it. Feel alright today? Yeah, we're going to have a good day. Am I getting you in the shop there? And Stefan. Fast day today. Nice fast day, is it? Oh dear. Well, I'm taking it easy, but uh, anyway, what is it? It's a lovely, lovely, bright, sunny day. Uh, I think we've got fairly flat day today. We're uh, reliably informed. So hopefully um, it shouldn't be quite so bad as yesterday, but uh, we've got uh, a bit further to go. So an extra seven days to go. Yeah. yeah. So, but hopefully we've got, yeah, well, there's lots of dunes to do. Anyway, it should be fun. Well, the sun is just going down on uh, day two. It has been a super hard day, just uh, 48 degrees, apparently. Um, we've had a lot of a lot of carnage today. Um, the helicopter's just taken off. There's, there's one still sitting there. Where's it gone? There. Um, but the black helicopter just took off uh, with somebody in a stretcher, so... So, uh, but it was a hard, hard, hard day. We uh, we all came back to the tent feeling uh, a little worse for wear. But um, anyway, day two done. And we're all just about to settle down. The camp's about to go off to sleep because the sun has just gone down. So it will get dark very, very quickly. But uh, just, uh, I mean, a great day, but uh, so, so hard. Um, I think... Uh, I think a lot of people suffered uh, big time and we've got essentially the same to do tomorrow with June so it was quite flat today but um, it was also fast so um, it just meant that everybody had to run faster than normal and I think a few people overheated and overcooked it and uh, uh, or myself almost included um, uh, almost killed over but we made it um, 
thankfully. to the camp of pain and suffering. Everybody is uh, starting to hobble and just wince every time they move. And it's only the beginning of day three, so there is a whole world of pain being experienced in this place right now. But uh, anyway, day three has arrived. It's another scorcher, there's not a cloud in the sky. We, uh, the start line is uh, down there. Let's see that? There we go. On there it is. And we're heading off just to the right of the helicopter down to those dunes, which I don't know whether you can see or not. But uh, it's Dune Day today. Another one. So we've got 14 kilometres of dunes, and uh, I think it's 38k. I think in total. Um, so it's going to be another proper tough one. Um, and then it's the big day tomorrow, it's the double day, double marathon day tomorrow. So everybody's kind of gearing up and hoping that they uh, survive today to uh, at least uh, get to tomorrow. So, But saying that, you know, the tent, we've got lots of high spirits in the tent. Um, the guys and girls are doing very well. Jules especially, who is now uh, fourth lady, top lady Brit. Um, so <laughs> it's quite good because we're getting all the photographers coming to our tent, taking her photo, not ours, but... Uh, um, and all the elite runners are coming to say hello, so um, we're getting to meet the right people. Well, stage three, here we go lads. What's it going to be today? Here we go. We're going to have it up big time. So, we're about 16k in to uh, day three. I've got the man Bruce next to me, hey. and we are uh, feeling okay. It's getting hot again, though, big time. And uh, we've got this little baby coming up ahead, and we are heading straight up the middle, which should be fun. Not. Uh, it's been another tortuous day. Um, starting to fall apart. Yeah. Uh, the heat is just unbelievable, and uh, I'm so dehydrated. Uh, doesn't seem to matter how much I drink, I can't quench my thirst. But. It is day three, and uh, over there is the bivouac, about a k away. So I'm going to grip my teeth. I'm trying to do a k of running. This is the day we've all been looking forward to. It's the long day. So we've got uh, 81 kilometers, or about 50 miles to get through today, which I can't say many of us are looking forward to particularly, but um, especially after yesterday. Um, 
the camp is just carnage of people limping and you know just uh, wincing and just you name it everybody's in such a world of pain and uh, but uh, I think the idea is that if we can get today done I think we're as good as there so because there's only one more marathon stage to go and then there's the 10k charity on the end uh, which you know is nothing really um, but uh, weather forecast is the same for yesterday so we had uh, 46 degrees yesterday, 48 degrees the day before, uh, 47 the day before that. Um, so I think we're heading for another very, very hot day. And we've got the entire day. We've, it'll probably be uh, well into the night before most of us get back. Um, so we've got a good, uh, well, 16 hours of uh, pain <laughs> to endure. Uh, unfortunately, we had a bit of a casualty in the tent last night. Um, Bruce was taken ill. Um, he is up now, but he's had uh, IV drips and uh, the like uh, last night, so he's not in a good way at all, which is a real shame because he had such a blinding day yesterday. But uh, we're trying to be as supportive as possible, and uh, we're going to drag him to the start line, and um, you know, hopefully he can uh, stumble his way around. Um, but he's not in a good way at all. So, but anyway, here we go. Um, it's seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, we've got about an hour, hour and a half before the start, and then we've got one heck of a day to deal with. But some of us are still smiling. I'm not sure that it's me, but we'll see. Anyway. Here we go again. Day four, eighty-one and a half k to go. Forty one K in to eighty one K. We've just completed our third mammoth climb up that lot. Uh, you can't quite see it now, I've gone around the corner but um there's something not making this easy. One bit. But uh It is about four o'clock in the afternoon, so it means the sun's going down a little bit along with the temperature. And uh, a couple of hours more, and it'll be close to night time. And I reckon we've got six or seven hours in the dark to trudge the last 30k or something. So, anyway, the top of last. Well, I've just been through a checkpoint three. Um, I blew up completely. So, I've officially dehydrated and suffering from heat stroke. But, uh, I only threw up the once. Um, the doctors all came running. But uh, for a minute there, I thought they were going to force me onto an IV, which means a two-hour penalty. But uh, I managed to keep some water down and keep some food down, so a bit of a half-hour lie down. Thankfully, the sun is setting, so the temperature is much lower. And uh, 13k to checkpoint four. Well, it's sunset, um, the temperature's completely dropped, which is lovely. Got Petra keeping me company here, where have you gone, there you go. And uh, get a load of that sunset. How fantastic is that? And then get a load of that scenery. It is absolutely awesome. The wind has dropped. And it's uh, nice and cool and uh, ish, yeah, well, by comparison. And uh, I think we've got about 9k to go, I thought, something like that.
made it through checkpoint four, so I'm at the 60k and the 81. My feet are in absolute agony. Um, I've got a good few extra blisters to uh, show for my troubles. Um, uh, and uh, down, which isn't helping, so I have to stop for a little while again at the next uh, checkpoint and uh, just try and recover a bit, but I'm on my feet again, uh, it's about 11k, next checkpoint, the last checkpoint, and then hopefully the last 10k home. Just a small matter of a marathon to do. 36 hours time. But hey, that's for Friday. Um, well, I've been going exactly 17 hours. Um, my feet are in absolute agony. Tired, I'm hungry, but about 500 meters in front of me is the finishing line. Oh, in a bed. It's about 11 o'clock on our rest day. Um, the good news is everybody got in, even Bruce, who is an absolute legend. He felt like absolute rubbish yesterday morning and could hardly stand up. But he somehow managed to drag himself uh, 80 kilometres uh, all the way to the finish through the night and uh, is now fast asleep over there in the corner. He's a legend. He's an absolute legend. And uh, so let's start with the man dealing with his blisters over here, look. Hello, That's it's Stuart. all good. It's all good, let's have a look at that. Nice little toe. Yeah, oh, yeah they're looking good. on it for yeah. video entertainment if you want. Yeah, we could. <laughs> 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 we might do that. So we're all suffering a little bit this morning with um, the blisters. Rachel, um, Rachel did an amazing job last night. And... Uh, I feel I had the scenic one. Oh, look, ready. Um, <laughs> I had a very nice time. Yes, you did. To have, really. Yeah, she was tripping the whole night on yeah. Tramadol, but apart from that, um, yeah. it was good. But my feet are still. Steph, with the sparkle pants on, over there, did very well. A sterling job, and a resident secondary le legend, Not really. Mrs. Donovan. <laughs> Can I you had see a yourself there? climbing that mountain and I nearly had a sense of humour failure. I needed Monsieur Le Bauer to escort me off. Yeah, but she only took half the time that the rest of us did, so she's having a, she's having, she's like, she's having a pamper day today in the tent. Nightmare. Anyway, it is a lovely, another, another lovely day, but thankfully we're staying inside all day long um, because it's just too hot to go outside. Hopefully uh, our feet will recover um, enough to stick our trainers back on and rock up to the start line tomorrow morning and uh, get this thing over and done with because uh, we've got uh, the 42.2 to do yeah, tomorrow and then uh, just the silly 7.7 .7 on uh, Saturday um, but the actual time stage ends tomorrow so we get our medals tomorrow assuming we make it to the end of the 42.2 but uh, it's so good to have everybody in the tent um, over the line which is uh, just brilliant. Tradition on the MDS that everybody claps in the last person on the long stage, and this is him. Yay! So that was it. What was I? I came in at about 17 hours. He's been out 34 hours. 34 hours he's been struggling to get in. That is just unbelievable. And very, very last of all, come the two camels. Let's see if I can get a bit of picture over here. Yeah, these are the guys that follow us. And if you're behind the camels, you're basically out. Oh. 
42 kilometers and 400 or 500 meters it'll be 243 42 for the day and the job is done we can have a medal around my neck here he goes It's done. It's done. Hey, Robert. It's magnifique. It's magnifique. Yes. back but I'm not sure whether that means I'm first over the line but Jules obviously started an hour and a half behind us um, but uh, oh what a day what an absolutely fantastic amazing race but I am so so torn to pieces that last 10k over that horrible soft sand just destroyed me completely and the, you could see the finish for 3k at least and it just would never come but oh it was fantastic brilliant race competitive part is uh, done and dusted so we've just got the charity stage now so uh, that's just a 7.7k ramble into the town that's uh, over there in the distance I don't know if you can see that but uh, um, and uh, feeling the camp's a bit strange really um, obviously there's a, there's a euphoria kind of still there that everybody's kind of done uh, completed it and got their medals and so on but uh, and then there's a bit of sadness in a way that it's all over and we're going back to civilization. So, but it would be nice to have a bath and put some clean clothes on. As you might see, I'm wearing this blue t-shirt. It's the uh, we've been given brand new t-shirts this morning, which uh, everybody's been smelling them because uh, they they just smell so fresh compared to the same shirt we've been running in 243 whatever it is kilometres uh, 
uh, and wearing and sweating in every single day. So, um, but uh, anyway, so just a small matter of the 7.7, and then um, on the bus back to where I was at, and then two nights in a nice five-star hotel to make up for it all. So it's not all bad. So here we go for the last time. Seven point seven to do, and it's all done. Well, here we go, boys. In one yeah. go, yeah. We're at the end. We finished it. Last literally walk this morning though, nothing too major. Please jump in mate! Here we go. Everybody say hello. Hey! 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 Here we go, it's all over, we're heading back onto the plane. Time to go home, back to normality. It was lots of fun though. <laughs> Just arrived over at Gatwick, and this is the carnage that was going to